Welcome back. It's time to get out your Sky Stormer handbook. Today we're going to work on rank six together. But first, let's find out what Chloe is up to. The boys froze. Neither of them said a word. Chloe's dog Sebastian darted into the clubhouse. He headed straight for the table. Sebastian circled around the table. Uh-oh. I think he smells the sandwich. Jacob ran over and reached his hand under the table to grab Chloe's backpack, but it wouldn't budge. Sebastian held part of the backpack between his teeth. Jacob pulled the backpack as hard as he could. Sebastian gave a gigantic tug and yanked the backpack right out of Jacob's hand. Jacob flew backwards onto the floor. Whoa! Hey, isn't that Chloe's backpack? Chloe's mom and her little brother stood behind Chloe's dad. Chloe's dad walked over to the table and pulled up a corner of the tablecloth. Chloe, what are you doing under there? I'm hiding because I don't want to move. Why not? Chloe's dad helped her out from under the table. Well, first, I'm going to miss my room. Chloe's mom came and knelt beside Chloe. Chloe, honey, your new room will have a window seat. You've always wanted a window seat. But where will I go to Sparks? How will I finish my handbook? And who's going to help me like Mrs. Torres does? Chloe. Chloe's mom put her arm around Chloe. You won't be alone, Chloe. Your dad, your brother, and I will be with you. And you'll make lots of new friends, too. Yeah, and maybe Jewel and I can come visit you. Yeah. Then Chloe's dad took a hold of her hand. But Chloe, even when we're not around, Jesus will be with you. He's with you wherever you go. When you feel sad or scared, just talk to him. He'll take care of you. I know you're right, but I'm still sad. Oh, it's okay to be sad. But after a while, you'll feel better again. Wait and see. Chloe turned to Joel and Jacob. She started to smile a little. So, it looks like my plan didn't work. But you two had better come visit me. Of course. Yeah, we promise. We'll even ask our friend Sparky to come along, too. Yeah. <laughs> Outside, a tiny firefly circled the clubhouse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, yippee! When do we leave? Deuteronomy 31.8 It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. This is your first new verse. Ready, set, go. Let's say it together. Deuteronomy 31.8 It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. What do those words mean? Forsake you means to leave you or stop caring about you. And dismayed means to feel sad or disappointed. Now that we know what those words mean, let's say our verse one more time. Deuteronomy 31, 8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. To finish this section, say Deuteronomy 31.8 all by yourself to a grown-up helper, and then have them sign your book. Remember to complete your weekly check-in so that I know that you came to Awanas today and what work you completed. I'll see you next week.